What do you know about air? Except that it's invisible and still moves the earth. What do you know about water? Except that it finds its way. What do you know about fire? Except that it starts with a small spark. And what do we really know about time? Except that it ties everything. Now bring them all together and mix some flour in. What happens now is magic that moves, finds its way, starts with a spark and bakes itself to glory. We are talking about magic that happens in the kitchen. Come experience magic. you're watching I want to bake free and today we're gonna make this really amazing bread called the babka a one pot meal consisting of a fruit ya savory filling tomato cobbler desi videsi version of nan katai you know I love trying out new recipes what I really love to find out is the history about it where was it first baked where was it first made who are the people who made it where did they make this you know, what was the climate like when they cooked this? A recipe is not just about a few ingredients thrown onto a table. If you know the history of a dish, you'll be able to apply that kind of a mindset and probably those techniques when you learn them to get the perfect result. So that's what baking is all about. And today, we're going to start with this really amazing bread called the babka that has got history. It is quite interesting. We start with creaming some butter, caster sugar, and then you just mix this all up. So it becomes light, fluffy, and airy. I'm going to add some egg yolks and vanilla essence. Now, a little pinch of salt. See that you whisk it in really well so that you don't get pieces of salt in your mouth while you're eating. I'm now going to put oil, just a little bit. So I must tell you, this is an yeasted mix. Here is my dry yeast. Add this warm milk to my yeast. Because we put our yeast in really warm milk, it gets activated faster. Add this to our mix. And we're also going to add milk. Now that all our wet ingredients have made friends with one another, add our flour to this mix. It's so nice to have recipes that have passed down through cultures and that have stories to it. It just makes the whole dish feel like you are part of a culture that went through so much probably to get where they are. Just take it all out on my tabletop and give it a nice knead into a beautiful, pliable, soft, bready mixture. This is a very, very rich dough. It does not have water. It has milk instead. It has butter. It has a little bit of oil, it has egg yolks. Our babka dough is now ready and we are just going to put some cling film on it and put it into the fridge to rest for a bit. It's going to be really, really tasty to bite into. My dough has had enough of resting time and we're going to take it out. Roll this out, shape it. The extra flour is not going to melt into this, but it will just stay there like a white powder and bake like that. 
So I don't want that inside my bread. So I'm just clearing that off. What I'm gonna do now is smear this ganache with so much of chocolate. Do not put too much. It basically is used to stain the dough and slightly flavor it. It also has this very pretty color once it's baked. Now that our babka dough is nicely smeared with chocolate, we're gonna just fold this in and very slowly from the top, we're going to start rolling this. We're just going to slice this end off and cut the other end off. Turn this towards you and I'm going to just go into the dough. And now we're just going to twist this. Flat this up. So now I'm just going to prepare my tin with some butter spray. And now, here, this is our babka. We're gonna leave this for a little proving and then it's gonna go into the oven. So our babka has been proving here for 20 to 25 minutes and now it is absolutely ready to get into the oven. We're gonna be baking this at 180 degrees in a preheated oven for 20 to 25 minutes. smell the lovely aromas of the babka. Here it is. It is just art in a little bread form. Watch the recap and do come back because this babka is just being begged to be eaten. For chocolate babka, in a clean bowl, take 200 grams of unsalted butter, 150 gram of caster sugar and whisk it together until it's light and fluffy. Now add two egg yolks and two teaspoon of vanilla essence, salt to taste, whisk it again. Add two tablespoon of oil, Pour 3 teaspoon warm milk over 3 teaspoon dry yeast and let it activate for 5 to 10 minutes. Add the yeast along with 200 ml of milk, give it a good whisk and add 1 kg of flour to your wet ingredients. Cut into the mixture until it comes together in a dough. Now take it out on the tabletop and knead. Wrap the dough in a cling film and chill it in the fridge for 10 to 15 minutes. Once it's cooled, roll out your dough and smear it generously with 150 gram chocolate ganache. Now slowly roll the dough and then slice off the ends. Cut the dough into three long strands and twist it into a plait. Spray one tablespoon butter into the baking tin. Prove it in a warm place for 20 to 25 minutes or until it doubles in size. Bake it in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes. Your delicious chocolate babka is ready.